morning. So, um, I did not make a good night video. Um, like I said earlier in my kind of follow up video, I'm, I'm soaking wet. So, uh, as soon as I got back to shelter, um, or to the shelter, I changed my clothes and made dinner real quick so that I could get into bed as soon as possible. And I warmed up pretty quick after that, but it was, you know, I was done. Um, I felt really good yesterday. I felt really good. I felt strong. Um, other than, you know, my knee, uh, or my, um, excuse me, my shin barking at me between like 18 and 21 miles. I felt great. Um, I think the thing that I was doing was I was, you know, letting gravity take me downhill. So I was kind of running with it. And I think that even though I'm running with it, there's still a little bit of deacceleration that happens with my um, tibialis anterior. And um, after, you know, I don't know, 18 miles of that, my, my leg was like, I'm good. But it's definitely getting stronger. So um, <clears throat> today is mostly downhill. And I'm, I'm not going to be running with it. So there's that. Um, but yeah, it was so cold. Um, but I slept well for the most part. I had to pee a lot, which was funny because I didn't drink a lot of water yesterday. I think I had tanked up so much over the past two days that um, I was just full. And probably having some sodium, you know, like uh, Wendy's and um, some Asian fusion food probably <clears throat> stored some more water in my body so there's that but <clears throat> as far as uh water today i mean the way my breakfast works i've already had a liter so um <clears throat> yeah i drink almost a liter and then i wash out the bottle so i'm pretty close to a liter already um it's still chilly this morning. It's supposed to be really cool tonight, but we'll be at a hostel. So just got to remember to give a phone call about five miles out before we lose reception. And then I think there's a possibility of a 21 mile slack pack. So the current time is 6.55. I'm out a little bit before Chris, but Chris is faster than me. He's just going to pass me in a minute. Um... It's 20 miles all downhill, but if we were to assume two miles an hour, that puts me there at 1700, which is five o'clock. Um, but I'm hoping I'm there before that. We'll see. All right, party people. See you later.
So I'm in Glasgow, Virginia. Glasgow, Virginia. Um, yeah, pretty good day. My, <laughs> my shin felt great most of the day. Um, I tried to be very mindful and not do a lot of running downhill, which I still did a lot of running downhill. But honestly, right now, just walking out flat ground to the, to the restaurant, <laughs> it's a little spicy. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this. I think I did. If I did, I'll just delete that one and use this one. Um, you know, I took the other, I took the, in, the, I had two insoles in my shoes. Um, I doubled them up, uh, after Damascus and I, and that was definitely what was causing the blisters. Cause as soon as I took them out, like the blisters, but the hot spots stopped. It's. It's all good. I'm considering switching from uh, Lone Peaks, which I need to check and see if I can still return the three pairs that I have for Olympus. The Olympus is a zero drop as well, but it's got a lot more padding. And I mean, like after days like today where there's a lot of like loose rocks, man, my feet are killing me. They're te they tend to be fine the next day, but I'm thinking if I want to keep pushing 20 plus days um, in hopes of finishing before Winnie's birthday, um, I'm going to need all the help I can get. And I think um, maybe that will help. I think also the extra cushioning might help with my um, shin too. So anyway... If I remember to do a good night, I'll do a good night. But it was a good day, 20 miles. So, later.